Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The corporate lackey had access to inside information, but he didn't dare reveal his source. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale now, rocket you ship. Have yourself a rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, the salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the con artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gortis component. At that moment, the former middle manager discovered that the plan had worked. Not their plan. <laughs> Handsome Jack. in one of the cells for questioning. Look at the three of us living a life of crime. <sighs> what are you in for? They got me at one of the security checkpoints. We're here desecrating art. Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? That asshole electrocuted me and ran. So as you can imagine, I'm really looking forward to finding him. We're looking for him too! If that helps... Thanks. It doesn't. We're not leaving here until I start getting some answers. What the hell is that? What the hell is... Wow, that was like super intense. That feels like a worker's cop case. This place could use a mop. Get them into the cell. Grace, you all right? I heard what sounded like a dying animal. Uh, Reese! Uh, what is going on up there? No, like it was meant to be. Vault hunters kill me, I learn humility, you bring me back where I belong, wiser and stronger. It's a, it's a pretty sweet little character arc, isn't it? Yeah, yeah except for that part where I learn humility, and that's, that's crap. Because I, <laughs> whatever, I got people for that. You know, I'm man enough to know when I'm not good at something, and I am not good at being humble. <laughs> it's my Achilles heel. Hyperion doesn't need you anymore, Jack. Deal with it. You're old news. You know, funny you should mention that. Because I'm not going to be the same old me. I mean, I'll obviously be wearing you like a fleshy tracksuit, which will be new for you. But I've got some pretty sick upgrades planned, too. <coughs> oh, so that prototype I was talking about?
Yeah, Nakiyama actually built it. So if you could just stay still, this is gonna get grafted into your body, and then I'll get up and into it. Don't worry though, sweetheart. The process will kill the shit out of you. So you won't have to suffer as a mind-controlled zombie slave or whatever. So you got that going for you. Couldn't figure out how to get this thing into my body without killing me, but hey, <laughs> doesn't matter if you die. Just so long as my consciousness gets uploaded afterward. Now that said, I'll be a metal skeleton carrying a corpse around. That, that's gonna get pretty ripe after a while, but <laughs> I don't know, whatever, I'll figure it out. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time, but you know what? Knowing how you feel now, just makes it that much easier to kill you. Wait, 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 wait. You're stuck in my head, Jack. Our minds are connected. If I die, you die, remember? Oh, is that how you thought you were gonna get out of this? Sorry, that's not how it works anymore. I've transferred my consciousness into the computer systems of the base. You know what that means? Now you get it, Cupcake. Okay, here we go. Let's get this scary robot skeleton inside of you. <laughs> 